r slash ask reddit what are some slang terms a 50 year old dad can say to his daughter to embarrass her i use the you ain't woke fam i'm too lit on my 15 years old daughter i'm 46 her exact response walking by without looking at me i don't even think you understand what you are saying tell her in a keep it a hundred with you i don't I'm partial to saying I'm finna pop a goog instead of I'm going to google this thing. I've received mixed responses. That sounds disgusting and I love it. Goog it fam. I must have been about 18 or 19 when I was getting ready to go out with friends when my father asks, Dad, what are you up to? Just going to hang around with your bum mates. Me. WTF. Dad, what? You don't say that anymore. You know. Bum mates. Your mates you bum around with. Uh, no dad. No. We do not say that anymore. Maybe he was checking to see if you were straight or gay. Just standing up for the dad. This is the secret to the dad shit. Standing up for dads you don't even know. I always tell my daughter. Word. Yo whenever she wants me to do something for her. She doesn't ask me much anymore. Perfect. Yo the food was fire been a minute since I saw you any chance you can throw fam in there do it. I love throwing out I got you. Fam in a professional setting whenever I'm asked to do something. Say lit. As in that movie was lit. Great. Even better. Use lit to describe something pretty basic. Ro. Sweetie. Those cookies you made taste lit. Warning. She'll be shook. Wondering what she's up to today? Spice things up by saying AI what's Gucci fam? We're heading to the park wanna join? It's gonna be lit. It's finna be lit for even better results. Chuck and an F after lit and this is for sure one of the best ones. While you're reading the paper just quietly and slowly say Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Gucci gang in whatever tune you feel like. I'd recommend channeling Sinatra. Holy shit this is good. To the tune of Jingle Bell Rock. Try to mix match slang words as much as possible so you make her embarrassed for you. Girl. That handbag is Gucci lit. Do dabs purposefully purposely wrong. Insist you're doing them right. Sweetie. This is how I saw them do it on the YouTubes. I guess I'll just wait for your friends to get here and I'll do it for them. They can be the judge. Pack it up. This is everything the man needs right here. Poorly handled adoption of pop culture. Stubborn refusal to be corrected. And the insistence of getting her friends opinions. I would recommend calling it the U book over the YouTube though. Start calling everything she likes whack. Next time her friends are over. Tell her you'll leave them alone. But to cash me outside if you need anything. Say it on front of her friends for max damage. Bonus if you dab before you leave. She is 14. Just you existing is embarrassing. Good luck. This is when you learn to pray. This guy parents. Man's not hot. My 13 year old daughters mistakenly showed this video to my husband. He now quotes it constantly and it is driving them crazy. That girl is a ruckus. Just call everything dope. Little ratchet and start calling her homie. Tell her she's on fleek all the time. Haha <laughs> this guy is a dopely lit savage. Whenever I call something dope, my kids are all like no mom, just, no. When she says something innocuous, just say, is that what the kids are calling it these days? Eck, dad can I get more syrup for my pancakes? Is that what the kids are calling it these days? Getting syrup for the pancakes? When I was 17 I worked at a pizza place with mostly high schoolers and one 38 year old man. He was nice, but a little creepy at times because he seemed to forget most of his co-workers were girls half his age. I asked my friend who also worked there to tie my shoe because I'd hurt my knee and couldn't bend down very easily. The older man turns around, sees her tying my shoe, and says all surprised are you actually meant to tie my shoe. I assumed that was an innuendo for something. I was mostly confused as to what he thought tie my shoe was an innuendo and why I would be saying it to my friend at work in the middle of the dinner rush. My dad used to go into Carl's Jr. and call everyone Carl. Go into Wendy's and call everyone Wendy. Go into a five guys and ask if you can speak to the other four guys. Sup Bretendo. Bird up. Sup McNugs. Was poppin' B? Dedus is a good word. It's a synonym of actually and I'm being serious. 
Did you dead us? Dead us bro. I did. I worked at a juvenile facility, in a girl's wing for 3 years. I heard Dedus 35 goddamn times a day. It usually preceded a violent outburst. I now equate Dedus with paperwork. I hear all the young college kids saying that's so extra or you're being so extra right now. Meaning being over the top or ridiculous. Wow in the early 2000s I had a co-worker who would say that. Only person I've ever heard use it. I guess dude was ahead of his time streets ahead my daughter always tells me her eyebrows are on fleek your mother is dtf oh christ that would be mortifying for her and amazing for everyone else when something surprises you say you are shook my 13 year old's most overused term but if she's really shook she's shooketh former substitute teacher here i believe it's spelled shooker think shakespeare you kids look really yolo tonight. Make sure and call me if you girls get into any lit. If anyone tries to give you drugs make sure and tell them dab on them haters. Stay ratchet. Woke girls. Is this just a quote from what's his name on modern family? Because that's how I heard it in my head. My dad makes up a bunch of euphemisms for menstruation that are much worse than saying are you on your period? And honestly if it weren't for the fact that he thinks these euphemisms are somehow more appropriate than just saying are you on your period? In the context of asking if he needs to get me anything, he'll very loudly announce, are you on your pee? Do you need supplies? And that's so much worse than just saying period. Oh my god. Just ask if I need pads. Hilarious. I'm practicing these for my son. He's having a coronary because I have a bit mudgy. Wait until he hears me talk. LOL. My dad never used slang terms. He did things like ask if I applied my rash cream and if my gum disease was bothering me in front of people. My mother dropped my brother off at a party. He got her to park far away so no one would see. So she drove past him and his friends and yelled out the window by James. Love you. Just say what up fam, then when they get mad yell worldster. Say bruh after literally every sentence. Your mother and I have decided we are getting a divorce. Bruh. I love this thread because it's probably something I'm gonna post in 20 or so years. Call her bae and then dab. Is that pronounced like bae or bae? Bae. Ugh. My 60 year old mother loves to say things are the puff daddy when she thinks something is awesome or superior. So you should probably point out things that you also find to be the puff daddy. Cringes. Wait till she's in an argument with your spouse. Or being slightly verbose in a public place. Pull out your phone and shout world star. I am taking my 14 year old daughter and her friends to an anime convention. They are all dressing up to cosplay anime characters. I decided to dress up as Indiana Jones. And I guess that is the worst thing in the world and now I am an a-hole it seems. You now need to refer to them as weebs and pretend you think it's something positive. Lit. Litty. Woke. Ratchet. Swifty. I must be getting old because I came into this thread intending to contribute but instead I'm taking notes. My grandma refers to my so as my special friend. She's just old fashioned and refuses to call him my boyfriend. When she's on her way to school start saying, make good choices. Then when she's taking her musical instrument on band day switch it up to, make good noises. Oh, the groans you'll hear. To agree with something she says reply facts. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru